Now that the mods are installed, let's activate them. If you go to the Mods tab, run Boss. Okay, if you want to, you can scroll through this and see what it has to say about all of your mods. Uh, but right now it looks like we don't have any warning or error messages, so that's always good. And you'll see once again, we have all of our mods in the correct order. So just start checking all of them that are not colored or italicized. Okay, and that should be it. Now we're going to rebuild the bashed patch. Following our mergeable, okay. If we cancel this, it looks like um, when we try to rebuild the bash patch, um, I found a lot more that um, are actually green. For some reason they weren't green, but now they are, so that's good. Might want to just double check to see if there are any other um, black colored um, mods. Looks like there's not any. Okay, we should be all set. Just right click and say rebuild the patch. Okay, we're just gonna go through it just like last time and select all if there are any of the ESPs or ESMs that we can check. Okay, if you remember in a previous video, I said there were going to be two exceptions to checking um, all of the ESPs and ESMs. One exception is here in Import Factions you want to deselect Oscuro's Oblivion Overhaul. You want to deselect these because these aren't actually ESPs. Here in um, Import Relations, we also want to deselect Oscuro's Oblivion Overhaul and the ESP and the ESM for OOO. Okay, and that should be all set. Yep, so rebuild the patch. Okay, and the bashed patch is made. Now, in theory, we should be able to run Oblivion and with FCOM installed, and it should not fail. It should work. So I am going to cut off the recording real quick. I'm going to run Oblivion, and if it works, I will uh, start out in kind of a boat, kind of like a wooden room, and they w there will be a... Um, 
a roll of paper in front of me on a table. If I select that, I'll be able to go through all of the um, options that the paper provides you. And then I'll sleep in the bed. And if all goes well, I'll arrive uh, right outside the Imperial City. So you should probably do that as well to make sure that you can actually get um, out of the tutorial stage of the game and into the real game. And if you can, that means your FCOM installation is probably good so far. So I'll be back um, in just a minute. Okay, everything seems to be working out so far. I was able to um, select everything in the little wooden room and then I was able to appear in the waterfront district and the game did not crash and burn at startup or at the start of the new game or upon um, entering the waterfront district. So as far as I can tell, FCOM is working at this point. So. If all you are concerned about is getting FCOM running, well, congratulations, you got FCOM. And um, if you want to add more stuff, just keep following along, and we're going to add a lot of uh, cool new add-ons like Lost Blunt Weapons and um, Bob's Armory and Cobol and all that good stuff. So um, I will see you in later videos.